Hello. Today, I thought we could look at the basics of sharpening turning tools. I use both wet and dry bench grinders and we'll take a look at each one of those. The bench grinder I use is a Croissant slow speed grinder which runs at about half the speed of a normal grinder. It has a 6 inch CBN wheel on the left and an aluminium oxide wheel on the right. When you get the profile or grind on the tool that works for you, well you want to keep it when you go to resharpen that tool. In other words, it's all about repeatability. Here are a few general tips about bench grinders. First of all, make sure the machine is set at the correct height so that you do not have to stoop to use it or make adjustments to the rest. Secondly, always wear safety glasses when using the grinder. Thirdly, when you get a new stone or a new bench grinder, check that the wheel is free of cracks. You don't want to be at the wheel when it fails at 3000 RPM. Now there are videos online that show you how to do the tap test to ensure that it's trouble free. Fourthly, keep the tool moving across the width of the stone when you're grinding or sharpening it. That's why the 40 millimeter wide wheel is better bet than the 20 millimeter wide for turning tools. Fifthly, you don't need to use excessive pressure when you're sharpening. A light touch against the wheel makes the tool easier to control. Not keeping the tool completely flat on the tool rest is a very common error and people don't realise they're doing it. May I suggest you get someone to watch you sharpen and look out for any daylight between the tool and tool rest. To keep all the tool on the tool rest, I find it helpful to spread my fingers to support the tool as shown in this clip. The tool starts out at 90 degrees to the stone, but as you move the tool, the angle changes. To overcome this problem, strap a pencil to the tool and any deviation in the 90 degree angle will be immediately apparent. Now for the Tormeg wet grinder. It has a leather honing wheel on the left and a 250mm wide stone on the right which travels through a water bath. You can switch between 220 grit and 1000 grit on the stone and it revolves at about 100 RPM, so very slowly, so tools won't overheat. It is great for sharpening but not very quick if you want to grind away a lot of metal. This jig makes sharpening gouges straightforward. I use the red marker pen again to find the correct setting for the tool rest. And then I work on each wing in turn, then blend the two together. I keep the tool moving throughout and use the whole width of the stone. In this way you can achieve a really fine finish. <laughs> 